Hey there, my awesome peeps! Today, I wanted to do a UEF Fantasy tutorial on how you can use motion capture on Fortnite character skins, just like in this video here that I posted on Twitter yesterday. For this video, I will be using the Sony McCopy system. There will be links in the description below about it and how to set it up. As well, I'm going to provide a link to a tutorial of theirs that tells you how to use these to bring metahumans into UEFN and motion capture them. Um, and before we get right into this, guys, I'm sorry if I sound nasally or eh. I just got done, like, having a two to three day sickness and I'm just, I'm ready to make a video like this because this was a lot of fun. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so for the remainder of this video, I will not have a face camera and that gives you a nice full view of the Unreal Editor for Fortnite right here on the screen. So let's just go ahead and hop right into this. First thing we're going to do, we're going to make a new island. I'm just going to use the blank one so that way we don't have to worry about anything. Name it whatever you want. We're just going to call this no cap toot, toot toot, um, and go ahead and create it. All right, guys. So now you've got your island all created and you're ready to go. The first thing I'm going to do here, and this is just for, to keep your islands organized, is I'm going to make a folder and call it my copy because I'm using the McCopy system. Open that folder, and I'm going to head to a website. I'll leave the link in below, and you're going to be downloading this FBX right here. I already have it downloaded. You're going to be downloading this. This is what makes it all work. Okay. So then once you get it downloaded, you're going to import it. UEFN. This is my, my, my poor UEFN folder, guys. Just ignore that. We're going to go ahead and bring that in. We're going to make sure this is clear. There's nothing in that skeletal mesh, and we're just going to hit import all. Now that you have that in there, um, we're just going to, for the now, go ahead and save our project. Um, I like to have this in here now just so it's ready to go. We're going to save this project here, and we're actually going to leave, open a new, another new project. And we're going to head to these feature examples, and we're going to open the animation. You don't have to name it if you don't want it, because you're going to end up probably just archiving anyway. Alright guys, now that we are in here, we are after one thing and one thing only, and that is this folder here, the mannequin folder. Because inside is a mannequin skeletal mesh. So, come up here. We're going to right-click your mannequin folder. And we're going to do Migrate. And we're going to have make sure all of that stays the way it is. It doesn't matter because we can clean it up in our main project. And we are going to go to our Fortnite projects. And we are going to find mocap, whatever you named your proje project. We're going to double-click. Go to Plugins all the way till we get into the content and we're going to do select folder and it will migrate the projects or the packages you know what i meant now that's done we can come back up here and we can actually open our project we were working on it doesn't matter if you save or not we don't need it <laughs> all right now that we are back in this project um everything should be right in here which it is now if for some reason because i've had this happen to me you open this up and it's missing things, like it doesn't have its skeletal mesh. Um, if it doesn't have the IQ rig, don't worry about it because you could create one. But if it doesn't have this skeletal mesh and this skeleton, um, if you close UEFN and reopen it, it usually fixes that. Okay. All right. Moving on. <laughs> we are going to actually now go back to our mocap friend here. We're going to right click it and we are going to create an IQ rig. When we open that, we're going to just click auto create retarget chains and then auto create IK and we are going to save it. All right. Now that we have that, we're going to actually right click it again and we're going to create an IK retargeter. We're going to open that up and for our target IK rig, we're going to choose the mannequin IK rig that came from the other project. We're going to come over here and we're going to hit running retarget. Now there's two things you could do here. Um, Epic does have an align all bones and that will automatically do it. But when it does that, it also moves the spine and the neck. My copy suggests that you don't do that. Um, you can, if you want, but they're like, Oh, you don't have to. So if you don't want to do that, which all you have to do is go from this clavicle to this hand and align selected. And then I just close that little tab there and I go to this clavicle and this hand align selected and close that little tab there. Do not touch the neck of the head. We don't need that. We can go from the thigh to the ball of the foot. Align selected. And then from the thigh to this, this ball of the foot. And line selected. 
And there you go. That's what you mainly need. Um, we're going to save that. All right, now that we have that done, I'm going to just come up a little bit. I'm going to put my Makabi skeleton in here. And then I'm going to go over here to the mannequin meshes and put the skeleton mesh in here. And now I'm going to go ahead and get myself all ready for the motion capture. Um, and I'll be back to show you how to link that into UEFN. All right, guys, now that I have all the Mocapi sensors on, I'm going to go ahead and go over to Tools. And I'm going to open the Live Link Hub. I'm sorry I can't show you guys the Mocapi sensors on me and stuff like that, but I promise you they're on me. And I'm telling you guys, it's really easy to set up and calibrate and everything. You're, you're going to love it if you end up getting it. Anyway, um, the first thing I'd like to do is go right here and I do Enable Time Code Source and I change it to 30 frames per second. We're going to add a source, and there's Mocapi Live Link already there for you. So we're going to create that source. And you can see here, I'm already connected. You do that right through the phone. Um, you just set it all up, and you hit Connect Stream, and it's working. There you go. So we're going to go ahead and move this off screen. While you are clicked on to the skeletal mesh here of the Mocapi Mannequin, we're going to add a performer component. You just search that up and add it. And right here where it says subject name, you see Mokapi Skeleton Animation. And there you are. I'm leaned over. Like I said, my computer is not made for me recording standing up. But here I am flapping my arms like a bird. I don't know why I'm standing like that, but here we are. I'm standing up straight. There. There. <laughs> here I am. Okay. <laughs> like I said, my computer is not made for me. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Oh. Anyway, guys, let's continue. All right. <laughs> All right, so anyway, guys, we're going to click on this mannequin here. And we're going to add a re-target component. And we're just going to make sure this is our Mokapi skeleton, the skeleton mesh of it. And the retarget asset, make sure you're choosing the one you created that says Mokapi mannequin, not the one that came with the file. And boom, there we go. I am now controlling both of them just like that. It's pretty awesome. I can wave. I can do a little dance. I don't have a lot of space right now at my computer because my chair is in the way, but you get the point. <laughs> All right. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can use that mannequin for a character skin, not just this dummy looking guy, right? So what we first need to do is we need to record a sequence to make an animation. It's pretty neat. It's pretty awesome. And I love it. Anyway, <laughs> go to your window, go to cinematics, and we're going to open the take recorder. Now, the take recorder has its timestamp going, and it should match the same thing that this has, which I have never seen it not do, so that's good. And what's going to happen here is we're going to add a source. Let's see if I can just put this right here. We're going to add a source. We're going to add the FN mannequin. Okay. Now we're going to hit record. It has a nice little countdown there, and we're just going to record some, some movement, okay? So if we hit record. All right, how's it going? I can dance. I can spin around. Woo, yeah. And then we can just come up and we can hit stop. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys are getting me out of breath. I, I'm, just, I'm just getting over being sick. I'm doing too much here. Anyway, um... You can close this or you can just move it out of the way. It doesn't quite matter right now. So now that I have my animation in here, I really don't need to be connected to the Makapi anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off and then we'll move on to the next step. So say goodbye to the in-game motion mannequins. Yay! <laughs> all right, guys. So I got all of my sensors off and it wouldn't be a Rebel video if something didn't happen. And of course, UEFN crashed. As I was taking my sensors off. Don't worry though. I already checked the files. Everything's still here. It all saved. I didn't have to redo anything. Thank you UEFN for that auto save feature. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. So we recorded a take from that take recorder. So where do you find it? Well, that's simple. We go to cinematics. Takes. And it'll have a date on it. And if you look here, you'll see the recording that I, I just recorded for you guys. Right there, it'll play. But obviously, we want a Fortnite skin to do it, not just the mannequin, right? So let me close this. 
if you open this sub scene, there's a folder called animation. And look at that. We actually have an animation we can use in Fortnite, which is pretty cool. There's two ways to utilize that. And I'm going to show you both ways for this. The first way of using this is just if you want a character kind of like standing in your scene, doing some sort of like, maybe he's walking around, maybe he's doing your own custom dance, maybe sitting down. If sitting down is a little sketchy with the mo copy, but if he's sitting down, kind of like, you know, talking to someone with hands moving, you know, it's endless options. Let me stop. I could be here forever. Um, we're, this is what this is good for. So we're going to bring a character device out here. And you're going to choose the skin. Obviously, we got to use a rebel, right? Okay. So then after we chose the skin, we go over here. And we're going to use animated idle. We're going to use a custom idle. And when you hit down here, we look for right there where it says animation sequence scene one one. Now, all these gave me in here. If you don't want to deal with them, you could just go into where it, it, you brought in your mannequin files. Oh, let me clear that out. <laughs> um, and there's animations here. You can just delete them. These are just ones that you can use already made. Anyway, sorry. Not on topic. We want to use that. And she's going to stand there like droopy, sad little rebel. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If we don't think about it, let's get her facing straight. Okay. And what happens when we launch session, cross our fingers, folks. We don't crash. We should be able to see her do the animation so let's launch all right guys we are here we are in the thing so let's turn and look and there she is she's automatically going to be doing the animation now the nice thing about this is you're going to be able to like um edit how long that plays and where it loops and where it ends and stuff like that um you do that right there in these in the animation editor itself okay so like i said that there is if you want just a character kind of like hanging out there. The motion cap isn't perfect because it's not like a whole motion cap suit or it's, you know, not pinpointing everything. It's doing its best to, to pick up everything up based on your ankles, your wrists, your hip, and your head. So I think it's pretty cool. I, I like it. I probably could do better with my calibration, but it's fine. Okay, guys, so we're back here in the editor and we don't want the character device to keep doing the animation that we recorded over and over and over again. Maybe what we recorded was only meant to be played once. Unfortunately, we can't actually assign that as a custom emote for it to be triggered like you normally would. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take off this custom idol and put our character back into position. Shout out to Cheetah Z for bringing this to my attention because I'm the bot who doesn't mess with sequences enough to figure this out. Anyway, shout out to you. You saved my life. Anyway... <laughs> We're going to go to, see, look, I'm a bot. I can't even find it. Cinematics level cin sequence. And we're going to create, name it whatever you want. We're going to create one. We're going to open that up. And we're going to add. Make sure you have your mannequin there selected. So you can quickly just do add character device. Then we're going to hit this plus sign next to it. Or you choose animation. And we're going to go down to what we recorded. Now, the sequence device automatically cuts it off at 150. So, you know, just find however long it is. Um, I usually start at 300 and just, you know, make sure you bring this line over. So then we can save. And then now all we need to do is we need to add something to make it work. We, we need to add the devices to trigger it. So we're going to go to our devices folder. Um, it's in the Fortnite. Mine's in a quick favorites, but, you know, Fortnite devices, you know. We go cinematic and we're going to bring that in. And then we need something to make that go off. So we're going to just get good old fashioned buddy old foul trigger here. And we're going to go ahead and go in our cinematic device. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to clear my throat without being loud. And we're going to choose our level sequence that, that we just made. We're not going to have it leap autoplay or anything like that. It's going to play from our trigger. So let's type in trigger. And we are going to do on triggered. That should be everything we need to do. So we're going to go ahead, save. Make sure you save, guys. And push changes. And we'll go ahead and test that out. Okay, so push changes have been pushed. Here we are. Let's go ahead and start and see how it runs. All right.
right, here we go. She gets in her little slump position and she starts moving. Obviously, when you're doing this, you can make it look a lot nicer, but I'm proud of it. I like it. It's a lot of fun. Do it again. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for me. I really hope you guys are able to follow along. Like I said, I'm sorry. I've been sick for like three days and I'm really excited about this. I got to play with it and immediately knew that I had to put this together so you guys could do it as well. Um, one thing real quick, the, oh, like I said, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, mannequin device, you don't need it anymore. If you're done t recording all your takes, if you're done, don't worry about deleting it. It is going to come up with some errors, but like I said, if you're done, if you're done recording, it's fine. You don't need those sequences anymore. You're good. Um, same with the Makapi mannequin, you can get rid of that. So just want to add that to the tail end here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure that you subscribe to support the channel. Drop a like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video before I sound even worse and make myself look more cringe. Thank you guys for being awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!